Greetings guys, it's Stokecraft, and we are back with another World of Tanks video, and this time on the 9.17.1 test server. Immediately as I got home this Friday afternoon, I saw that the common test server was live, so I couldn't resist to go up onto the test server, because I knew that a pretty few significant changes had been made to the German tech tree, which I thought was the most interesting. We're going to see a few new tier 8 and 9 and 10 German heavy tanks. As well as a few changes to vehicles and of course a lot more HD models. So if that sounds interesting you, to you, please keep watching and let's get right into this. So everyone, let's take a look at the German tech tree first, because a few changes have been made regarding the German heavy tanks. As we can see, they didn't implement a whole new tech tree, but a few changes have been made near the tech tree of the mouse. As we can see, the branch leading towards the mouse has been split from tier 8 up, as we can see. And there is a new tier 8 and tier 9 vehicle that lead up towards the mouse. And the VK-45 and the VK-45 uh, at tier 8 and tier 9 have pretty much stayed unchanged. But let's take a look at the VK and the mouse as we can see, that lead up towards the mouse. But, of course, now that the mouse has got its new branch, there's a new tier 10 that has been introduced... Um, yeah, to lead up after the VK4502B. We'll take a look at that in a second. But let's first take a look at the VK100-01P. The new Tier 8 German mouse-like heavy tank. And as we can see, it is very likely that the speciality of this tank will be armor. And that is exactly tr true. Let's take a look. Over 200mm on the front to 130 uh, around 160 on the sides. And 120 to 140 millimeters on the rear as we can see. But using the tanks GG model of this tank uh, in the beta version, I very quickly found out that the lower plate and the cupola are the weakest between exhalation points. Um, yeah, parts of this vehicle. You're going to need over 220 millimeters uh, of penetration to be able to contest its lower plate and uh, its cupola if this tank manages to angle well. But still, if you manage to angle this tank pretty much at 40 to 45 uh, degrees, as we can see, you will still uh, are going to have to try and wiggle because through the tracks you're going to be able to uh, penetrate this tank as well. And yeah, that's what that's pretty much said about the armor. This thing is of course very capable of penetrating, of, of getting a lot of damage blocked, but. The problem with this tank is that it still has weak points if the enemy knows where to shoot you. So let's take a look at the gun. We're not going to really uh, pay much attention to the mobility because as we know it is pretty much going to be shit anyways. It's a super heavy tank so the perverse speeds will not be high and the top speed limit will not be high either. So let's take a look at the gun as we can see this thing gets a really low rate of fire as expected for a super heavy tank. As we can see it gets 220 millimeters of penetration which is about average for a tier 8 heavy tank. It's not really that special but it gets a very amazing alpha damage of 490. It is very inaccurate and it aims very slowly. So the thing that I asked myself immediately when I saw these new tier 8 and tier 9 heavy tanks is how are these tanks going to stay competitive in the game because these tanks might have a lot of armor but the thing is armor can be countered by premium ammunition in this game and of course there are going to be a lot of weak points and in addition to that this thing gets really bad dpm as we can see and it doesn't have the most amazing penetration so that means that this tank will of course not uh, be able to penetrate all of its shots and if that happens it will just not be able to fight itself out of sticky situations and that's one of the things i really hate about these super heavy tanks they're just so slow and lumbering and they can't really do anything uh, against tanks with higher dpm if they manage to flank them or anything so we're going to see how that is going to go but for now let's take a look at the new tier 9 that has been introduced of course this thing looks very familiar to the mouse as we can see these tanks of course have been introduced in uh, previous patches but they didn't get uh, put into the game into the live version of all of tanks but now they are probably are going to get into the game so let's take a look very mouse like tank again over 200 to 240 millimeters on the front of the tank as we can see 155 to 160 on the sides 135 to 150 on the rear 
Really amazing stuff there, really. And we all know what the weak points of the mouse are when you are shooting it. These cheeks here are 240 millimeters. That is exactly the same on the motion here on uh, this tier 9. So if you are able to shoot premium ammunition, you'll be just able to go through here. But those aren't the most easiest weak points to hit. As we can see, the lower plate and the commander's cupola. Again, you need 220 to 210 millimeters of penetration to go through them. And at tier 9, most of the tanks have got even more than that. But because this tank gets more side armor than the tier 8, it will just be able to angle itself up more to be able to hopefully get that lower plate the most effective armor value as possible but one thing that i also found out is then the side of your commander scrupola is showing as well and that is a really weak point so if you see a tank angle like this then just shoot it here in the sides because this is the thickest part of the commander scrupola and you'll be able to penetrate this all day long again really nothing special to say about the mobility of this tank this will just be a very slow, heavy tank. Let's take a look at the gun really quick. Rate the fire of 4, so it does manage to fire a lot more shells in a minute. So the TPM will probably be a little bit higher. As we can see, it also gets a little bit better penetration, which is amazing. 490 alpha, a bit more accurate than the tier 8. Still not amazing though. And a pretty alright aim time of 2.3 seconds, which is very alright for a tier 8. Of a tier 9 heavy tank, I mean. So yeah... Again, the question that I'm asking myself is, is uh, this thing going to stay competitive in the game? And I can't really answer that right now, because that's pretty much the same for the mouse as well. You just get fired at by premium ammunition a lot, especially on the test server. So, nothing really to add on that. So, as we could see, there's new tanks leading up towards the mouse. But then, of course, there was a spot... Uh, empty for a new tier 10 tank in World of Tanks. And that spot has been filled by the Panzer Kampfwagen 7. As we can see here. Hey, Tokrev, that looks a little bit like that Clan Wars reward tank. That's true, everyone. This is the Clan Wars reward tank, but in a different form. This Clan Wars reward tank gets a different gun. And will, of course, be uh, able to get researched by everyone that... Uh, doesn't play in clan wars so as we can see it gets a different gun the clan wars version gets the same gun as the e100 i believe this thing gets a 128 millimeter gun as we can see with a pretty low rate of fire as well pretty good penetration of around 260 that's not very common for a heavy tank a very weird alpha damage of 560 you don't see that too often on enemy of uh, enemy on heavy tanks in general as we can see 0.35 accuracy which is pretty all right actually for a uh for a tank like this and also yeah i'm pretty mediocre in time of 2.5 seconds but this thing actually gets really 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 good armor everyone this thing gets around 170 millimeters of, of 160 millimeters of side armor i mean around 200 to 240 millimeters on the front and don't be mistaken this lower plate might not be angled as much but it still is very very strong indeed so if you see a tank not angling you'll of course be able to penetrate this in every tier 10 tank but if this thing angles even this lower plate will be very hard to penetrate and even the side armor this might look like a very big baity shot to take but it still just won't penetrate and this thing gets 120 millimeters on the rear yeah, you're not going to bounce anything here. We can see some really steep angling here, but the middle is just going to be one big shell magnet. If a tank like this angles itself and he angles the turret as well, you can just shoot it here in the cross right there. That's something I did when I was playing this tank. Uh, I angled my turret as well to see if it would have any effect, but it didn't really. It just made the side of my turret really weak. But I really, really like to play this tank actually on the test server. I got an amazing game in it. 5.9k damage. And it was a first class. So, no, uh, yeah, nothing bad to add on that really. So, that is pretty much the change for the tier A German heavy tanks. So, furthermore, con concerning the next patch, we're not going to see any more vehicle change. Uh, yeah, any more vehicles getting added into the game at least. We're going to see vehicle changes only pretty much and one of those big changes is going to be for the type 4 heavy and the type 5 heavy what was wrong with these tanks well these tanks pretty much previously had a 128 or 130 millimeter gun i believe that had the same problem as i think the tier 
eight German heavy tanks, uh, yeah, the mouse-like heavy tanks at least are going to have at the moment. These tanks just had amazing am amounts of armor, but they were really slow and they didn't have the DPM to fight themselves out of situations. But now, what has happened to these tanks? These tanks have got an entirely new gun, as we can see. They got a 15 centimeter gun, and this is just not a regular gun. This is an HE-like gun. As we can see, this thing gets the choice of two HE shells. Both of them get 75 millimeters of penetration. And yeah, the, the normal round gets 1,100 average damage. And the premium one gets 1,400 average damage. I think it is an amazing change that Wargaming implemented this HE gun. Because I think it is really going to fit better into this tech tree. Why? Because yeah, I'm using the derp gun on the OHO as well. And a lot of people are using... The derp gun on the Oni as well. And the OI of course. So it fits very well into the... Um, uh, in the tech tree. And at least now every time these tanks fire a shot. They're at least going to do a little bit of damage. So that problem with uh, having not enough DPM. Really gets mitigated just a little bit. But still the rate of fire is terrifically bad. This thing even with... Equipment like this reloads over 20 seconds and that is something that is just really diabolically bad But still as I said at least you're going to do damage with every shot But one thing that I feel that needs to be changed is the penetration of the premium HE rounds as we can see Now you get the same penetration with the premium variant as the standard But you get 300 extra alpha damage so people with a lot of credits will just be able to Buy all these premium rounds up and have a lot of extra Alpha damage in return. What I would like to see happen to these new rounds is that, yeah, the penetration gets nerfed to around 50 millimeters of penetration. I think that is a very good change because that will just, uh, yeah, not make this tank a pay to win tank really. Because at the moment, everyone is just buying these, uh, yeah, premium HE rounds and is shooting everything up. Uh, but on the live server that is only going to be possible for people with a lot of credits. So if somebody that has uh, a word to say in Wargaming. Please change this up and not make this a pay to win tank. This is the same for the Type 5 Heavy. Let's take a look. I believe it is exactly the same gun. Yes it is exactly the same gun as we can see. But it looks like this thing gets a better rate of fire. Let's quickly take a look. This one gets the same rate of fire I believe. Let's quickly take a look. Okay, it doesn't open it, but it looks like this, uh, yeah, the Type 5 Heavy just gets a little bit better rate of fire. So next up, we've got something that a lot of you will be very happy to hear. Finally, the American tank destroyers have been buffed with regards to their top speed limit. First, the T-28 prototype has always been... A very much hated tank because of his top speed limit. It also didn't have any side armor really. So that is why it was pretty weird why it wasn't going that quickly. Now the top speed limit has been buffed to 28 kilometers per hour top speed forwards. Very amazing stuff right there. This thing will just be able to shift a lot more on the battlefield. Also the T28 and the T95 have been given some love. The T20I, uh, yeah... In my, in my opinion, at least, the T28 uh, has gotten a little bit less love. It only goes 22 kilometers per hour top speed forwards. And then we've got the T95 that now goes up to 20. Which is a pretty big step up from 12 to 20. So something that a lot of you will be very happy about to hear is that the top tier British medium tanks, the Centurion tanks, did get a speed buff in this patch for 9.17.1. We all know that the Centurion tanks pretty much have always had a top speed limit of 40 kilometers an hour. Well, this patch that is going to change. Now the top speed goes up to 50 kilometers an hour. And that is the same for the FE4202. Yes, they did it also with the premium tank. Amazing stuff there. And with the Centurion 71. This makes these Centurion tanks just so much more competitive on the battlefield. Think about the situation that always happens on mines, right? What happens on mines? All the medium tanks in the beginning of the game try to rush up onto the hill on mines. Well, the Centurion tanks have always been out of that equation to rush onto the hill, really. Why? They just didn't have the speed to contest the other medium tanks. And if they did try to get up towards the hill, they would just get annihilated by everyone that shoots them in the flank as they try to... Make their way up onto the hill. 
Well, now the Centurion tanks have at least got a considerable chance of going up on to the hill, which is just amazing, especially for the Centurion 7-1, as it has a very bad rate of fire. So now at least there's a considerable chance to get up there, and it is just so much more competitive. Before we continue, let's just take a quick peek at how balanced the test server really is. One other thing I noticed in the 9.17.1 test server is that the, the information catalog in the down left corner of your screen now provides you with a little bit more information. Now you can see what tanks hit you, for how much they hit you and with what ammunition type they hit you. Very handy and useful wargaming. Love to see features like this in the vanilla client for World of Tanks. So far in this patch it pretty much looks like uh, there are going to be a lot of buffs. But also, there are going to be a few nerfs. One of them is going to be for the T125. Yeah, really, this thing was just such a good tank in the previous patch that it really had to be taken down just a little bit. So what have Wargaming done? They have weakened this cupola center just a little bit, so it will be a little bit easier to penetrate, but still, it won't be a guaranteed penetration every time you hit it. Also, what Wargaming have done, the armor between the front drive wheel has been decreased a little bit. So when this thing angles, you are at least capable of penetrating the side armor through the tracks right there. So that just, yeah, that should just make this thing a little bit easier to handle on the battlefield. And one of the other tanks that has been nerfed just a little bit is the Gorilla 15. This thing was just a little bit too good at the moment. Just look at that accuracy. I think it's gone up from... Uh, 0 0.26 to 0.27 so just a slight decrease there I don't really know what other things has been changed about the Gorilla just take my word for it in the video description there is a list with everything uh, with all the patch notes so you can take a look yourself one other thing that has happened is that the German medium tanks have also been buffed really I'm not really going into much detail but a few of the German medium tanks have been buffed also, link in the video description so you can find out exac exactly what has been buffed with regards to those German medium tanks. And last but not least, we have got of course a few more HD models that are coming into the game in the next patch. Object 140 finally in an HD model as we can see. Gun looks really similar to that one of the T62A. Not that that matters really. But it just looks very amazing right there. Very amazing stuff for gaming and of course... In the link down in the video description, you will find a lot of other uh, other tanks that have been changed to HD as well. Anyway guys, that's pretty much everything that we needed to cover in this 9.17.1 test server video. I think the most interesting change has been the top tier German heavy tanks as we can see here. And I am especially stoked to see this tank get into the game because I would really like to play with this thing some more as I really liked playing this tank. But as I said, that's it. I hope you guys leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see all of you in the next video. Have a great weekend everyone. I'll see you next time.